last week's episode, we finally got to go skiing together for the first time. Ron is on the hard to get new anti-fouling on the hull. We're almost done, but then we found out that the prop shaft was bent. After almost four weeks on the hard, the travel lift came to pick up Ron and bring her back to her right element again. Our friend Kenneth was there to join us on the ride for the locks and to Elliott Bay Marina, where we will spend a few days to get ready before leaving Seattle. The wind was howling from the north, so we were glad that we were only going a couple of miles downwind. back in the water <laughs> feels great and salt water too really nice I'm really stoked to go back sailing now it would be nice to get out on the water again go south The conditions were perfect, so hoist our new sails to get them ready. The sails are from Sail Service in Germany and are made from the same material and thickness as our old sails, 410 gram Dacron. Looks good. Looks like it's a good fit. Yeah. Who we'll built it? It's a German brand, sail service. And it's uh, clearing the backstay too. So. Can we have to put up the deck yet? Yeah, they have it. So that it doesn't smoke so. We spent the rest of the day cleaning the dinghy and the whole boat on the outside. We took Kenneth and his family for a test sail in the bay to 
try out the new sails. It was a beautiful day, and the boys got to manage both the wheel and line. Where are you going there, love? Look, 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 look. OK, we can, we can tack. <laughs> you take that line, can you? Yeah. You pull, you pull, pull, pull. And you go in that direction, a bit faster, and then stop. <laughs> all right. Change the don't, plans. don't change it. <laughs> I'm turning all the way and then... Wait, wait, you're turning again. Turn the other way. Not too much. Yeah, we'll just that direction. <laughs> and now we're just basically standing turning still. Turning a little bit and then I was... I got... Got confused. I was trying to correct it and I was turning more the other way. Besides, like, throwing it after a party. There was, was, no, was no house swing, yeah. Okay, let's go. deep in our wardrobe to find something to wear tonight. It's a cocktail attire they call it, but I guess I have a shirt and jeans, <laughs> so I guess it's okay. So we're going to have dinner beneath the blackbird here, really cool plane. Invited to this event by uh, our patron Mike. He, uh, I think, he sits in the board of the Museum of Flight, and uh, I think uh, especially you are just super excited for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> the exhibition had several real objects from the Apollo program, like one of the spare engines to a Saturn V rocket and the Apollo 11 return capsule. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. It was a great evening, and we felt so fortunate to be able to hear Buzz Aldrin talk about the epic Apollo 11 moon landing. Well, all the commanders pretty much had decided they really didn't want the computer to go all the way down. Very smart idea. After many goodbyes and a forecast which suddenly wins, we were ready to sail north and out of Puget Sound. Today we're probably going to uh, stop in Port Townsend. It's around 35 nautical miles from Elliott Bay Marina. So I guess we'll be there late afternoon, beginning of the evening. The sailing is great, 15 to 20 knots, straight downwind. 
and uh, yeah, right now we do 7.8, 8.5, but I guess we have some current with us. But uh, there is definitely a difference in the bottom paint, the job they did. Uh, run is a lot faster, that's for sure. So that feels great. We spent uh, quite some time in Seattle. A bit longer than we first, first thought when we arrived here. Almost five months. Uh, but it's been great. We met a lot of great people, nice people here. and. Uh, we got to do a lot of stuff around that really needed to be done. The engine and yeah, the bottom paint, new anodes, new sails, and the chain locker. So we've been doing a lot of updates around, so that's nice. So she's ready now for the sailing to go south. spot in the cockpit looking at the navigation it's it's exciting to be on our way again it's so nice to be start cruising life again explore new places but it was a bit hard to say goodbye to Seattle and especially all the people that we met here I mean, when you spend some time in a place we meet people and we've met so many nice people, there's been so many nice souls that have reached out to us, been so helpful and we got so much help. Uh, it's amazing, it's incredible and the help that we've got with the boat. Um, so I was a bit emotional yesterday when we said goodbye to everyone. A new setup here which is really really great it made such a difference we have a mount for the iPad and we can have well it's still the old iPad we haven't changed yet so we have to keep it charged all the time because the battery there is no battery like really left in it and then we have this X grip from for the a phone and we can actually see the iPad all the way from the steering wheel. So it's great. They always sit there and they're really easy to take out. And it's from um, RAM mounts. So R-A-M, almost like RON. <laughs> Before we rounded the point just here, uh, the wind picked up to about 30 knots of true wind. So we took a reef in the main and also reefed on the headsail. Um, but I mean, we just did nine knots. <laughs> I think we have some current with us, but um, she's a fast girl now. Almost like uh, Johan's uh, old uh, drag racing car. Yeah, it's time for an update. 
these old blocks. This is the second one today. Some crevice corrosion, I guess. And the stainless steel here. So this just come off. Wind picked up a little bit and yeah. It's brittle, all plastic. So this one we this one broke in this morning just a couple of hours ago. So it's time for new ones. To solve the situation temporarily, we use the block from the starboard side. We're back in Port Townsend, our second time here. We'll actually just spend the night and tomorrow we'll uh, continue up to uh, San Juan Islands. The weather really turned on us. It went from, it picked up a lot, like uh, we came around another point and it picked up to over 30, or over 30 knots of true wind. And then in a matter of seconds, it turned, the wind turned 180 degrees. Uh, to northerly winds and just down to four knots so yeah we had to take down the sails quickly and uh, motor the last bit do you have everything <laughs> yeah yeah i'm heading over to the office to check in okay thank you for watching if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when there's a new video. Your support means everything to us and helps us to continue make these videos on our own terms.